Michaela here today with Prophet Salim Brothers and we're here in District 15 in one of my favourite estates in Singapore. We're in Siglap today with a freehold project called Flamingo Valley. Is this a king or a queen? And we're going to bring you up to this 517 square feet, one bedroom plus study unit later. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, alright. Okay. Full renovation already done with high quality finishings. Now it's raining, but it's not going to dampen our mood. So if you're ready, come on and let's go check it out. We're in Flamingo Valley right now and we're in District 15 along Siglap Road. Now Flamingo Valley actually underwent an arm block in 2007, did a revamp and had a whole new look in 2014 when it TOP. This project was done by SCL Estates Private Limited which is part of the Fraser's Property Group. They have done projects like St. Thomas Suites as well as Martin Place Residences and they're reputable developers in Singapore. The theme of the condo is an urban resort and this was designed in collaboration with Miyake Masaki Associates. Now do not be fooled by the facade outside when you're driving along Siglap Road. You might think that this is a very small project but actually it sits on approximately 335,000 square feet of space and so because of that the developers were able to carve out this sort of valley-like elevation and the highest block only sits at level 5 even though in a private residential estate it won't feel like a high-rise estate with tall condominiums but actually still keep its privacy and feel of its exclusivity. Now this project consists of 393 units comprising from 1 bedroom units all the way to 4 bedroom units. Now there are no 1 bedroom units and the 1 bedroom units are actually 1 plus study units and there are a total of 41 units. There are a total of 93 2 bedroom units, 126 3 bedroom units, 48 4 bedroom units, 36 dual key units and 49 penthouse units. So where exactly is Flamingo Valley? Well, we're in District 15 along Siglap Road. That's in between Upper Changi and East Coast Road. Now in District 15, it's common to see many boutique projects, especially like in areas such as Telokura and Juche. Um, if you're talking about the denser projects, then we'll be able to find them in areas like the popular seaside residences as well as Mandarin Gardens along Marine Parade Road and the projects closer towards Parkway like Silver Sea as well as Cote d'Azur. Now if you're talking about the denser projects at Marine Parade, now actually those plots of land are usually 99 years but they sit on a bigger land so the facilities are of course more. Now coming back to Sigla where Flamingo Valley is, now this is the biggest project here in Sigla and there's actually another one right next to us and it's called Park East. That one sits up in about 262,000 square feet of land. That one TOP'd in 1994 and it's like our big sister and they're right next to us. Um, otherwise Flamingo Valley would then be the only big project with the biggest facility actually within this vicinity. <laughs> This is a one plus study, 517 square feet of space, 25k worth of renovation already done. Now come with me and check out the space here. Now if you realise there is no balcony, all internal living space, it's southwest facing. There are a total of six different facings here that you can get at Flamingo Valley. And the first one being the ones that face along Siglap Road. Secondly, the one that faces towards the Oprah Estate. Thirdly, the ones that face Park East Condo, our neighbour. And the next one would be the one facing the greenery. Another one facing internal inside the pools. And lastly, the inward facing one which is the one that we have here. So what we like is that even though we are having a little bit of southwest sun, we are blocked and also shrouded away from the road noise. So if you're someone that likes your privacy and somewhere quieter, then this is a great step for you. Now before I go into the interior of things, let's talk a little bit about the one bedroom study units here in Flamingo Valley. Now there are actually only two different types. The first one would be the one that we're in, all internal living space, 517 square feet. And the other option would then be the one which has the patio space. So if you're someone that likes patio living, private and cold space, then that's another option that you can consider. Now at the foyer area, you'll see these very nice details here which are very consistent throughout the home. This is actually an integrated fridge that is hidden. It's in a very nice area where, you know, it's not, it's not out in the open and blocking the way. So next to the fridge would be your very generous sized sink, long kitchen countertop space. You get more storage above and below. 
Coming here, this is where you have your kitchen counter hood and hob, as well as the fitted in microwave oven here. And then expanding on even more space here, then you have a fitted in brand oven here. Soft closing features around your home. And if you're thinking if this is a one plus study and the layout kind of looks like a studio, don't worry because one of the things the owner has done to this place is actually install this glass panel here. So you don't have to worry about this space, your living space here getting affected by any sort of smell that's coming from the kitchen. Now this living space here shares the space with the bedroom here. So one option that if you want, if let's say you want a separate space, you don't want this to be too much like a studio kind of layout, then you could put a wall here or a glass panel to kind of cover up the area, maybe like a tempered glass, so it gives you a bit more privacy and then you still have the open space and the option. So this is a great space, I mean in terms of distance, comfortable for me to sit here, have my friends, bay window here and this is an area that um, the person that's staying here has used it very nicely to kind of put his books and his magazines. The bay window area, as you realise, there are some mirrors at the bottom which is not original from the developer that was added in by our owners. The whole stretch of the bay window clad with Italian marble. But otherwise, as shared in many of our other videos, the bay window is actually a great space for you to utilise. Like you can, for example, use this as a storage area, so kind of elevating it up and use it as a storage or you could plush this area up with softer finishings so that it can be a secondary chill out area when you have your friends come over. Now looking at the one bedroom supply here in Siglap, you will realise that there's a lack in terms of that because most of the projects that you will find would be towards Telukura area or the condo projects that are towards East Coast or Marine Parade. Now if we look just down the road from us at Siglap B, this is a smaller development. It's a freehold project that also TOP in 2014. There are a total of 114 units there and the bedroom sizes range between 420 to 580 square feet. Their PSF ranges between 1,500 to 1,900 and the price ranges between 790 to eight hundred eight thousand dollars there's also a new launch down the road from where Siglap B is at and there are a total of only 41 units there a very small boutique project freehold in nature and set to TOP in 2022 sizes of the bedrooms there range between 506 to 635 square feet with the PSF from 1007 to 1008 and the price will range between 883 to 1.05 million now if we talk about the bigger projects along Siglap then we can compare ourselves with the popular Mandarin Gardens that's a 99-year project that TOP in 1986. There are a total of 1,006 units there and the size of course bigger because it's an older project. So the sizes there range between 731 to 820 square feet and the PSF goes at 1,002 to 1,400 and the prices there, because of its bigger size, will of course command a higher price, $950,000 to $1.036 million. And next to that, the newest kid on the block, we have Seaside Residences, which is a 99-year project that just TOP this year in 2021. There are a total of 841 units and the size ranges between 506 to 592 square feet and the PSF ranges $1,900 to $2,500. And the price will range between $988,000 to $1.000. $1.38 million. Now, why did I compare the smaller projects with the bigger projects? Well, there's actually a little bit of difference as to why people choose either of these projects. Number one, the pros of a smaller unit would be that there's a lot more privacy because you're sharing the space with lesser people. But of course, with a smaller project, perhaps it's because of the land size that they have. So the type of facilities that you get there might be lesser because there will also be lesser people sharing the facilities as well. So if you've seen some of our other projects, you will ask me, hey, Michaela, why is it that some of the projects are bigger in size and the MCSC fee is lesser? Well, the first things first is because there are more units and more people sharing the space than and the MTSC fee is also mostly lower because everyone's chipping in to share in with the maintenance. So with a smaller project, sometimes MCSC fees might be a little bit higher. And one thing to take note is that if let's say a fire sale were to happen, the impact would be that the other units will also be a little bit affected in terms of the valuation. As compared to a bigger project, when a unit goes under fire sale or any sort of major sale, then the project is better able to cushion the impact of the lowered pricing. So the flip side to that of course with a bigger development would be firstly as mentioned maybe the MCSC fees would be slightly more affordable and the bigger development would mean more people and what would that mean is maybe developers will create more space 
for facilities and that's something definitely you can find here in Flamingo Valley with lots of facilities. The sheer amount of space has allowed our developers to even build a basement parking, a 50 meter lap pool, multiple patios inside the development. One of the biggest features here in Flamingo Valley is the 11 meter high sky bridge which also has a huge waterfall feature and that's something you usually only can find in bigger developments because they have the luxury to use the space but of course not every project is perfect with a bigger denser project there are also some things that we need to take note of is because of the size of the development you can also expect that more people might be trying to sell the same kind of units that you have but here in Flamingo Valley there are only 49 one plus study units out of the entire 393 units here and so that will keep our competition relatively healthy Talking a bit about the rental yield here, there actually has already been 22 rental transactions within the past year. And given that there are only 41 one plus study units here, we can safely assume that the demand for rental here is very strong. Our one plus study here is asking at $899,000 and your monthly mortgage will come down to be about $2,231. So the rental you can command for this one plus study will come out to be about $2,200. Now comparing to the two bed, two bath here in Flamingo Valley asking about $1.35 million, the monthly mortgage comes down to be about $3,330. $50, and your average rental will come down to be about $3,000. Now, as you would have seen, the quantum has increased by 50%, but your rental has only increased by about 36%. So if you're looking and asking yourself, hmm, which kind of units should I buy for rental, then maybe you should consider something of a lower quantum, but also achieving a higher rental yield. It's compared to something that's bigger, but will bring you down about 36% in terms of rental. Um, however, if you're looking at this for own stay and maybe you want to stay in one of the bedrooms and then rent out the other. So if you choose that option, you can use um, the rental that you get from one of the bedrooms to help you offset your mortgage. But if you're looking to just rent out the entire unit, then maybe you can consider the one plus study if you're looking at this pure investment. Now just one last fun fact about the Siglab Estate is that along the Siglab Shopping Centre of 3,685 square metres, they have just relaunched themselves for a collective sale and the estimated sale guide price would come down to be 1,002 to 1,003 per square foot per plot ratio and we likely estimate the launch price to be about 2,300 PSF and our unit here is $600 PSF lower giving us a safe cushion and just to give you a context even further the one at Seaside Residences are going at about 2,000 to 2,002 PSF so you can imagine how much of a safe cushion we have here if let's say you're looking to exit those who are looking at a more palatable quantum or PSF range they can consider our unit here. So the finishings here in this comb is very more of a Victorian theme. Here's a very comfortable size. They have put in a... Is this a king or a queen? They fit in here a queen size bed. Oh, it looks like a queen size bed to us. Could be a king size. I think even if let's say this was a queen and you want to fit in a king, there is still so much space here just at the sides. And a great thing about this is that the unit here has a sliding panel wardrobe which means that if you need to put a bigger bed, you could because all you need to do is slide it open rather than open it out this way and you have lots of walking space here. We really love this area here. This was dedicated and already done up by the developers. So the cordoning off of the area was original in terms of the layout. Great long countertop space, three panels of cabinets and more at the bottom. It comes with a standing shower inside. So right above me in the toilet ceiling, that's where you get your ventilation fan and that's going to help dispel some moisture. Now this unit here is currently occupied by a single So he's using this room as a storage area Now lots of possibilities I feel like you could use with this area Just putting on this light feature here And then some of the hooks at the back I mean that already elevates the space You could put a study table here and really make this into a dedicated space Otherwise we were just thinking you could fit a smaller sized bed here Or you could also use this as a dedicated walk-in wardrobe It's definitely like put your bags here and then your wardrobe here and then your shoes here That's a really great idea from our videographer <laughs> this is a door that actually connects to the kitchen area. I'll show you this area. This is where your DB box is at, and you get some extra storage over there. This is where your rubbish chute is, so it's nicely concealed. So before we end the home tour, let me share with you a little bit more about the facilities and amenities around the area. With this huge space of 334,000 square feet of space, there's so many facilities here. 50 meter lap pool. 
the gymnasium, the entertainment room which will host your alfresco dining pavilion and spa alcove. Oh, there's also a function room, a gaming hotspot and karaoke room. Children dedicated area like their play zone as well as splash pool. You also have a tennis court, a hammock court, zen garden, meditation garden and different trails such as your fern trail, fragrant trail and butterfly trail. Now talking about the schools around the area, within the one kilometer radius, you have Oprah Estate Primary School and St. Stephen's Primary School. If we're talking about schools between the two kilometer radius, there's Bedok Green Primary, CHIJ Katong Primary, Damai Primary, Fengshan Primary, Nian Primary, Taunan School and Teluk Kurao Primary School. There's a Pingyi Secondary, a Victoria School, St. Patrick School and Katong Convent Secondary School. Now, popular locations for residents in this area, we often visit Badok Mall, Badok Point and Jitsun Mall, Parkway Parade, and there are also lots of new restaurants and cafes along the East Coast. Now, for the MRT stations, Badok MRT and Kabangan MRT are both the closest MRT stations to where we are, and both MRTs are accessible by the direct buses outside the condominium, Bus 40 and Bus 42. And also, there's a future Siglap MRT station up ahead, and that's where you'll get your Thompson East Coast Line. If you drive, we're in between two major expressways, PIE and ECP and they're about a 5 to 8 minute drive away to either. So we're 12 minutes away to the airport and 12 minutes away to the city by car. In terms of your recreation, East Coast Park is within cycling distance with the park connectors around the area. Otherwise, there are actually six other parks within the one kilometer radius around us. And there you have it, we've just ended our home tour here in this 517 square feet one plus study bedroom unit at Flamingo Valley. Now this is a freehold project in District 15 with full renovation already done with high quality finishings. So if you're keen to find out more about this beautiful unit, do give our listing team a call. Don't forget to like and subscribe this page here and check us out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and TikTok channels. I'm Michaela from Property Lane Brothers, always happy to show you the place. Young script, Michaela. Pull your young script. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, alright. Okay. Uh, but that one enters in from Jalan Twakong, where here we are. Oops. We got food. Your kitchen counter. No, this is your uh, your counts. Cool and hot la. <laughs> and coming here, this will be where your fitted stove is and your hot hood. Your kitchen cooker cool hot.